Hello, my friends, and welcome. My name is Julia, and this is the last page in my Art by Marlene sophisticated journal, and I will link to my supplies in the description box below. I'm starting in my stamping platform, stamping that fish bowl in archival black ink on watercolor paper. Then I bring in Gina Kay's masking magic paper and stamp the bowl again on that masking paper and fussy cut a mask. I place my mask over my stamped image. Then I pull a favorite from another stamp set, the crab, and place him over the mask. I mask off the sides so only his lower part will stamp and I stamp him over the mask. Next I'm stamping the crab and do the same. I stamp again on masking paper and fussy cut. I place my mask carefully and bring out the blowfish from yet another stamp set. I place the blowfish on the crab's claws so it will look like he's holding the fish over his head and I stamp the fish in archival black suit. I repeat my process one more time and stamp the crab again. I place the mask over the crab and place that beautiful whale in his arms and stamp her. I was on a roll with masking and now I have three new images to color. I kept some extra coloring in for those who want to see how I dilute my acrylics. I'm starting with dilution shimmer paint in post box red and I put it on undiluted where I want my shadows and act quickly to add water so the color fades. I do it in stages so it won't be too long before I go in with a wet brush because dry acrylics don't move. When I have my shadows with post box red, I bring in the orange tangerine dream. I put it on undiluted and quickly dilute it with water on my brush. The paint is more translucent, yet still so vibrant. For the blowfish, I bring out the neon dilutions colors in sour apple teeny, lemon drop and tropical sangria. I start with sour apple teeny around the whole fish in stages where I put it on the edge and quickly add a wet brush to soften the color. I often put on undiluted color and dilute it on the image, but I also keep a puddle next to the paint with already watered down color to help them blend when I need it. This time it was diluted lemon drop that I covered the whole fish in, except for the lips, the eyelid and the propeller. For them I used tropical sangria and for the eyes I brought in the shimmer paint in calypso tea. Next up we are coloring the whale and I chose the purple crushed grapes to color in the tail and go around the whole fish and blend it out with a wet brush. As my lighter color I chose shimmer paint in bubblegum pink. When the purple shadows are in place I make a puddle with diluted pink and fill in the fish. For her cheeks, eyelid and horn I use tropical sangria. Next up I color the weight lifting crab the same way as before with post box red shimmer paint and tangerine dream. Next I'm using a favorite of mine but also my friend Linda's favorite. She gave me these stamps for my birthday. I stamped the puffy fish in archival black suit 
and I already have a mask for this one, so I put that over my fish. Then I bring out the crab and place him over the puffer fish head and stamp the crab. And when I pull off the mask, I will have a crab riding on the back of a puffy fish. Then I stamp these small fishes and I stamp many more off camera because I might need a whole crew of fishes. Now let's color this gorgeous puffy fish and I will use dilution shimmer paint in bubblegum pink and calypso teal. I alternated the two colors around the fish and blend them out with a wet brush. Then I use already diluted paint to fill in the fish randomly and make the colors blend. I fill in the spikes with undiluted paint to make them stand out, but I try not to paint over those black lines if I can. I color many many small fishes in different combos of the colors I used earlier and you will see them all soon. On this last crab, to make him match the fish better, I used cherry pie instead of post box red and pure sunshine instead of tangerine dream. Now let's make a cool background and I want to use a tag to do it, but the tags I had was too wide, so I chopped off a sliver of each side and trimmed the corner with scissors. I am going to use Dilution's Shimmer Spray in Polish Jade and Island Parrot, along with ink sprays in Vibrant Turquoise, Polish Jade, London Blue and Distress Oxide Spray in Tumbled Glass. I spray with water and then my ink sprays and lastly the Shimmer Spray, one of them making splashes with the straw. To darken the tag I then spray Distress Oxide Spray in Shipped Sapphire and Dilution Spray in After Midnight over top. Now I have a matching tag and I glue it down peeking up from the journal and I glue it down only at the top so we can flip it open later. For the back side peeking up I use my water brushes filled with dilutions ink in Blue Lagoon and After Midnight. Now let's step this background up and I will use Wow's embossing powder in Primary Lagoon and an embossing dauber along with this awesome stencil. I press out that embossing ink on my surface and apply it through the stencil with a makeup sponge. I purposely go over the tag and I cover the pattern in Primary Lagoon embossing powder and melt it. Then I line that stencil up again but with the flap open and fill in the same pattern behind the tag, cover it with powder and melt it. Now we have a fun background to build our underwater scene. But first I have an extra eye colored in for that fish and I glue it down along with an extra fin and tail and I curve them with my fingers to make them appear more dimensional. And now it's time to put everything together and I glue down the crab in a tower on my tag. Then I glue down my fish bowl with crab legs 
and then the big puffy fish with a crab on its back. I put one of those happy crabs at the bottom behind the tag and then I glue in that army of small fishes behind the tag and coming out behind it. The last touch is to use glossy accents to go over the eyes and the water in the bowl to give them a domed look. And then this page and this journal is finished. Thank you so much for watching and please come back again. Until the next time, see you soon.